please help me welcome a very funny guy, one of the four wacky space dudes on Third Rock from the Sun. Please put your hands together for the very zany French Stewart! <laughs> Harry, uh, <laughs> what planet are you from, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 Nicole. That's just a character I play on TV. Well, yeah, but it's... That's not who I am. <laughs> this is who I am. Oh, good point. Yeah. You know, here in Hollywood, it's easy to forget who you are sometimes. You know, whenever I find myself losing track of my own identity, I like to just sit back, relax, dress comfortably. <laughs> and read from a favorite fable of my childhood. You know, I, I happen to bring it here with me tonight, and I'd like to read it for you. It's called Freaky the Freak. Please, please. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a traveling circus owned by Mr. and Mrs. Horrendous Freak. <laughs> and they had a little baby named Freaky. Look how freakish Freaky is, said Mrs. Freak. <laughs> One day, he will make the circus famous. Oh, but Freaky didn't want to be a freak. No. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I want to be an Acapulco cliff diver, Freaky said. Hey, you can't be an Acapulco cliff diver, Freaky's folks said. You can't swim. But Freaky didn't listen. No, Freaky trained and he practiced and he practiced and he trained until finally he went to Acapulco and he climbed the biggest cliff that he could find. At last, I'm finally going to live my dream, said Freaky, and Freaky jumped. Yeah, but... <laughs> Since uh, Freaky only had thumbs for legs... Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, he couldn't really uh, get enough distance, and I don't know, it's sort of like a long story, but anyway, he sort of just ends up bouncing down the edge of this cliff, and he just smashes into this outcropping halfway down, and then he's just he's dead, and he gets picked apart by seagulls. Wow. <laughs> well, I don't have to tell you that the moral of the story is always be yourself. You know, never try to be somebody that you're not, because, okay, let's face it, I mean, if Freaky would have accepted his freakishness instead of fighting it, well, he'd still probably be sitting in some some circus tent up to his neck in his own filth instead of plunging to a noble death in a tropical seaside resort town. Well, I hope this little tale has helped you as much as it's helped me. Always be yourself. That's right, Nicole. Always be yourself. Enjoy the show. <laughs>